What's up guys? This is my first video and thank you for watching. Today I'm going to be showing you how to solve the Rubik's 3x3x3 cube. So I'll just mix it up and let's get started. First what you want to do is you want to find the white edge pieces and bring them up onto the yellow side. So you see how this piece has a white on it. Now you want to bring it up to the side with the yellow center. So that means you want to turn it twice. So this piece is up there. I already have this piece there. So I just want to do the rest of the four. This piece is here so I can turn it up like this. Except the problem with that is this piece gets knocked out gets knocked out. So what you want to do is instead bring this back down, turn it, and then bring it back up. Now all three now three of the whites are there. There's one more white right here. It knocks out the orange one, so you want to turn it and bring it back up. Now you should have this cross shape. This shape, this shape is called the daisy. Now we're going to be making something called the white cross. So you want to find the edge piece that lines up with its center piece. So like this red one, I want to turn it till it's on the side with the red center piece then turn it twice to bring it down onto the white side. You should see a line that looks like this. Now you want to repeat that process for all of the sides like I did with the orange one. And now the green one. And finally the blue one. So now you have the white cross. The corner pieces don't matter right now because we're going to be fixing those next. So this piece right here we want to bring it up onto the white side because as the white piece now this piece is white, green, and orange. So that means you want to find the white centerpiece, which is here, the green centerpiece, which is here, the orange centerpiece, which is here. Which means that you want to bring it to this center. To this, I mean, corner, right there. So you can do that with one turn, except it gets rid of the green on the side, so you don't want to do that. Instead, you want to bring it down and bring it down once so it goes like this and then turn it this way the green this way they line up so green and green yellow and white and white and then the orange is here if we bring it back up orange orange so now you've solved that corner you want to repeat this process with all the others Except if it's facing this way, you want to instead, instead of doing this, what you want to do is you want to turn it, then bring it down, bring it back up, then bring it right there. So now you've solved this corner. Now you want to do that with all the others. So like this one, you want to do that. But if you get this, but if you get one of these, where it's facing the opposite direction, you want to do that first uh, algorithm I showed you twice. Except after you do the first time, you don't want to just do this. You want to instead, on the first time, you don't want to bring it up, you just want to turn it this way and keep on doing it until 
you've solved the white side. Now, we want to work on the center. So we're working layer by layer. Bottom layer, middle layer, then top layer. So what we want to do is, for this, is find an edge piece that doesn't have white on it. I mean, that doesn't have yellow on it, like this one. Then we want to, so then the side that's facing the orange is on the yellow side. So that means we want to find the orange side and bring it to the opposite of the orange side. And then the side on here is the blue side. So that means it's here. It, sh it should go here and turn this way. So what you want to do is this algorithm. Sideways, up, sideways, down, sideways. Rotate, sideways, and down. That way, you should get something like this. Now, this one, you want to repeat that process, that same algorithm. Repeat the same algorithm. But then on this one, you want, instead of bringing it this way, you want to bring it this way. So what you want to do is invert the algorithm so you go sideways up, sideways down, sideways rotate, sideways, and then back down. And then you should have the middle section complete. Now what you want to do is make a yellow cross. So for me, I had the line, but I uh, changed it so that I could go from like the least possible outcome. So basically, you have the dot. What you want to do is this algorithm. Rotate, up, sideways, down, sideways, rotate. That should give you an L shape. Now you want to go to the bottom side of the L and do that same algorithm. Then you should have a line, do the algorithm once more. Now that shouldn't affect th your white side or your middle row, but it should give you the cross. Next thing that you want to do is fix the middle section. So basically, the yellow edge pieces, want, you want to orient them in the correct position. So green and orange are already in the right place, but blue and red need to be flipped. So blue needs to go here, and red needs to go here. So what you want to do is you want to go to, to the piece that's on this side of the flip pair and do this algorithm. Then if you turn it back, I mean not turn it back that way, turn it this way, you should end up fixing the side. Sometimes you have to do this algorithm multiple times, but it's just the same algorithm. So, now what you want to do is you want to put these corner pieces in the correct place. This is the second to last step. Now, so you want to find a corner piece that's already in the right place, like this one. If you don't see any, still do, r still do the same algorithm. Up, sideways, up, other sideways, down, sideways, down, turn. And now, they should all be oriented in the correct place. Sometimes you have to do it twice, but yeah. Now, what you want to do is flip these so they're, they're in the right orientation. So what you want to do is 
you want to find one this one so the white so the yellow side is facing this way that means you want to pull the yellow side up so that means you want to pull the yellow side up like this bring it back down and then do this algorithm then you want to instead of doing this you want to turn the top layer and this one will go this way so you want to repeat that same algorithm now this one if you turn it the white will the yellow will be facing up if you could do it this way so you want to make do this algorithm instead turn the cube and same algorithm and now you'll figure out the rest and just like that you've solved your 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe peace